Hello, good morning everybody. This is Jake and it's uh, Ash Wednesday. That's why you can see that thing on my forehead. And I have Ava here as my uh, co-host for this morning. Well, I just want to uh, talk a little bit about Lent and, and the beginning of uh, Lent, which is today Ash Wednesday. And, okay, I think she wants to take over a little bit. <laughs> I was at the UPS store today to um, a mail package and the lady at the counter asked me so Jake what are you giving up for Lent and I said well you know nice that you asked me about what I'm giving up uh, but might you also want to know what I'm taking up for Lent you see a lot of people when they when they talk about sacrificing something for Lent they talk about giving up something but I want to make you understand that um, you know Lent is not all a matter of just giving up something. Sometimes the more difficult sacrifice is to take up something. It's easy to give up coffee, chocolates, sugar, sweets, desserts, or whatever have you, whatever you want to be giving up. But you know what's more difficult? Is to take up something. So perhaps the question to ask ourselves is, what are we taking up for Lent? And what do we mean when we say take up something for Lent? Um, for me, it would mean taking up a virtue, taking up the practice of a good habit, taking up the practice of a virtue, whether it is, you know, maybe more patience, more charity, more understanding, more uh, diligence at work. Um, you know, something that you can acquire through the 40 days of Lent in order to grow in virtue. Because after all, sanctity, when you look at the big picture, what is sanctity all about? Sanctity is the acquisition and perfection in virtue. So if we are to be imitators of Jesus Christ, if we are um, to uh, participate in, in His redemptive mission, which is what we are commemorating this time of Lent, then uh, we ought to remember that he told us, you ought to be perfect like your heavenly father is perfect. What does that perfection entail? That perfection entails a growing in virtue. So this time of Lent, think about not only giving up something. I would encourage you to think about taking up something, taking up a virtue. Because giving up something by just sacrificing it without filling in the void with a virtue okay, that is more positive uh, and which will contribute to our sanctity, then many times the sacrifice we, we perform might not really contribute that much to whatever else we are trying to achieve at Lent. So Lent is a period of purification. It's a period to remember our sins. It's a period to make up for our sins. So instead of just giving up something, let's talk about and let's think about and let's plan about taking up something. Taking up a virtue that you perhaps uh, might need to acquire or you've been thinking of growing uh, more into. Take up a virtue. Okay, folks. See you next time. Uh, enjoy your Lent. <laughs> Bye. Okay, let me turn this off now.